What is going on, you lunatics? I'm here to talk to you today about the price action. Uh, give you a little background on some of the things that have been going on in the Luna Classic universe. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified. If you want to help me in the greatest way possible, join the channel as a member. Uh, memberships are $4.99, uh, under $5 a month for me to continue to provide you with this content. If you like the content, it helps me out tremendously to continue to provide this to you. Now let's break into the chart. We're about to ask the question today. And the question of the day is, can Luna Classic get to one penny? Are we in a position now where we can even have a conversation about it? How long would it take in order for us to get there? And the answer is, it's pretty far away. Um, we would need 100x from where we are. Now, first of all, we're going to talk about the chart. Um, this is where we're, this is uh, kind of the spot that we're looking right now. And you're seeing a breakdown of the price after it hit this uh, this total over here. So what is the next expectation? Well, uh, the next expectation would be that we're in a trend line channel, by the way. So, um, you know, we've got this kind of parallel channel here. I know I got a lot of lines here. Just follow me on this. Uh, the most likely culprit, the most likely play out is that we move down here, test this one more time, and then we start coming back up into here. Uh, this is a tightening channel. Now, when there's a tightening channel like this and it's in this fashion, this is an opportunity for a breakout. So uh, that does mean that you can expect it's early. Uh, we do need to see it play out, but that that would lend itself to believe that there is some upside coming. Now, uh, when I say upside, it's maybe this 18 right here, because this, this seems to be uh, one of those areas right now that, that seems to be uh, where we're maxing out. But uh, one of the issues and, and, and one of the things that, that's coming down the pipe is there's a repegging coming and it's coming sooner uh, than it is later. And I believe Classy Crypto today at uh, 4 p.m. Central Time is going to be having an interview and they're going to be talking about USTC repegging and that maybe that is the order of the day. And if that is, then all of this over here that I've been talking about, uh, once we start to get some clarity and some information about what's going on, then all of this stuff that I've been telling you about for the last little while, all of this gigantic pump that I said is coming for USTC, well, that's going to happen. If you've got all of your tokens and you've uh, farmed your tokens and you've put them in uh, for the, the USTC pump like I did, then you're going to be feeling pretty good about it. Uh, but here over in my wallet, I have 3,808 of the USTC. Uh, if I were to do a swap right now, to put it into Luna Classic, then I think it's about 490,000, something like that. So not worth doing, right? Do the whole thing. 503,000, not worth doing yet. That's not, that's not what I want. What I want is I want to see a nice pump on USTC and let's triple that value, right? So then I have 1.5. So when I go back over here to the staking, then I'm now sitting here at 12 million tokens. And I haven't, by the way, I, I bought 10 million tokens at one point, and this has either come from those kind of trades or from delegation. So, you know, that's how I'm doing it. Uh, I'm not spending a dime in order to continue to accumulate. And all I'm doing is using a market that's basically disabled, except for USTC to Luna Classic to swap back and forth in order to accumulate more. So that's what I'm doing. Now I'm up to 10717000 And I got a wallet over here where I could be up to 11.2, let's call it 11.2 million right now. So I could be staking about a little bit more. And you know what? Uh, cash it out for a couple hundred bucks if I needed a couple hundred bucks and still have my 10 million in here. Um, and the 10 million under the idea that can we get it to a penny? Well, let's come over here. This is the math behind it. In order to get it to a penny, that's about an 80x from where we are right now. A 70, let's call it a 70x. So we would need a 70x from where we are right now. To do that, we have a market cap right here. So uh, let's talk 10x. If we could do uh, right now, a $900 million market cap. If there were a possibility, and we have not seen it yet, by the way, uh, because the data does not lend itself to it. But uh, if we take over here, um, let's do a three month, because I think maybe three month gave us kind of the best shot now. Let's go back to one year. Um, yeah, we're gonna need to look at about a three month here. Uh, so the, the, the best opportunity that it gave us was up here about double where we currently are. So 
looking at the market caps, 1.8 billion. You know, I think this really kind of bears out a little bit further here. Um, maybe we had a spot where we were at a little bit higher, uh, 1.7, 1.5. I know I'm just kind of moving on along a trend line here, but yeah, we had a one spot here where we had a $3 billion market cap. You can see that right here. That was on September the 8th. Now, um, 3 billion market cap is about 4X, 3.5X from where we are. So uh, it does 3.5X on our price action, put us in play for a penny, not even close. Um, that puts us at, this would be a four, basically, right? So uh, are we looking at it? No, if we did a 10X to 9 billion, which again, unachievable, but uh, if we did that, then that would put us, uh, that would remove this zero. So we'd be, uh, one zero away and all we would need was a nice pump now that nice pump would then be another 7x from where we are on 9 billion turning it into 63 billion and i hope you guys are following me with this no chance of us having a 63 billion dollar market cap uh you can look at the markets right now and you would understand that there's no way that that happens now so the, the penny is kind of out of the realm of possibility on the surface. Now, where does it come into play? Of course, circulating supply. So what are we talking about right now? USTC repeg or a new, uh, a new algorithmic fungible token uh, that's going to be part of this ecosystem that's going to cause a burn on the supply based on volume. Well, listen, here's the thing. The interesting part is we actually have an enormous amount of volume for the trading that's going on. So the, the hype when this AFT arrives or when this repegging to UST arrives, when all of this starts to arrive, things are going to get in just incredibly interesting. Okay. Um, so can we get there? Well, you know, here's, here's my, here's my best estimate. We have a, a circulating supply right now, of 6 trillion uh, we can't burn 75% of the supply to today. Uh, by the end of 2023, it is entirely possible based on previous history with Luna that we burn 75% of the supply. So that being said, <coughs> that puts us back in the realm of where we are um mathematically we're talking about basically three xing um we're, we're basically cutting this in to one quarter of where we were right now and we take that so what we're going to be talking about is what if we that means we're sitting here with a six instead of a 1529 we'd be sitting at about six thousand in our price action that's three zeros six thousand uh if we then took from this market cap and we then 10x the market cap which is going to be more reasonable by the way towards the end of this year, because we will be at least at the start of the bull run. If that's the case, then 10 xing to 9 billion market cap shouldn't be a big deal. What does that do? That moves us right here. And that puts us at six, zero, 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 two. It'd be two, zero, because we're just doing a 10 X from, from where we were over here with the circulating supply being reduced. And that means six, zero, 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 zero. So uh, does that get us to a penny? Not exactly. It gets us about halfway there. Could we get to an 18 billion market cap or a 16 billion market cap? A 16 billion market cap with a circulating supply reduced to 1.5 trillion or 75% of the supply uh, removed. Could that get us to that level? And the answer to that is a resounding yes. Do I think it's likely? Well, it doesn't look like it. It looks like it looks like that's too much of a stretch right now. It, it looks like you know we need a lot of ecosystem work. And we need a lot of burn going through on this supply. And people, look, everybody wants to see you burn your own supply, but nobody wants to burn supply that they have for you, right? So what we did find out is we found out greed is the, the catalyst for the day. And that, by the way, my friends, is why uh, we haven't seen these gigantic burns that we were hoping for with Binance, because greedy people prevent themselves from getting burned. So. That's where we are. Um, here's what I'm going to say. The, the most likely culprit at the very best by the end of this year is two zeros six. So not exactly one penny yet, but we're getting closer and closer and closer. 
Um, this is just based on what I think is about a reasonable number of one year or so worth of burn, 75%, which did happen, by the way. So about one year, um, 75% burn, entirely possible in this ecosystem. Uh, and then um, uh, and then about a 10x in the market. Uh, I, I don't see a 16x, but uh, a 10x in the market up to about a $10 billion market cap. That certainly puts us in the running uh, and starts to get us close. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell to be notified. And again, if you can, subscribe to a membership on the channel. It's only $4.99 a month for me to continue to provide you with the content. And we hope to talk to you again soon. This is not financial advice. My name's Bleaves, and I am always right. I'm looking for the good life, good life.